on this episode of the Pop Shop Show, we make kettle corn and it's just back to me and Brooke again. Hi. And I'm not actually doing a selfie right now. Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 14 of the Pop Shop Show where we talk popcorn, eat popcorn, and most importantly show you recipes that you can use at home. We're really excited to be here. I'm Zach, owner and operator of Police's Passion for Popcorn. With me as always... I'm Brooke, also owner and operator. We're, we're married. And we just came from a family party, so we'll try to make this one quick. So we can get back to the family party. <laughs> yeah. Which, by the way, our son, Jay, was causing havoc during that party. We were like, where's Jay? Do you have him? Do you have him? You know, and he's Certainly being passed around. with 50 people around, somebody knows where the child is. Right, right, right. Like the cousins, aunts and uncles are all <laughs> taking care of him. Turns and out nobody did. Yeah, we heard him splashing in the toilet. Drenched, head to toe. Of all places. So glad to have a tad bit of a break from that. <laughs> what are we making today? I'm really excited. We're making kettle corn today. Yep. Guys. Crazy easy to make at home. Very simple recipe and one of the best things about it. A lot of people have been asking us. This is one of the healthier uh, flavored popcorns that you can have at home. What uh, ingredients and kitchen stuff do we need for this one? So we need a quarter cup of canola oil, quarter cup of sugar. I almost called that salt. Don't use salt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be gross. gross. And then a half a cup of um, popcorn seed. We're going to use Regular movie theater popcorn seed instead of um, big caramel corn. Yes. What, what's the word I'm looking for? Mushroom pops. Mushroom pop. Guys, I'm a professional. Um, <laughs> Which, by the way, I know every, almost every single episode I'm saying mushroom pop, mushroom pop, <laughs> mushroom pop so that you don't get crumbs. The beautiful thing about kettle corn is it's actually going to be coating at the same exact moment that it's popping. So a lot different than our other stuff that mixes in after the fact. You won't have the broken pieces. You won't have the crumbs with this one. And you actually want all those little crevices so the sugar gets in it. So what we need to do is we need to heat up our pan. Oh my gosh, words are hard today. I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm just gonna blame it on that. Pregnancy brain? Pregnancy brain. That's starting early this time around. I wasn't until third trimester last time, I don't think. Pour in your oil. Um, and we're gonna get the oil heating up like stir it around so it coats okay. the bottom. No, like just with, oh. with the pan. <laughs> okay. Just stir it so it's coating. And then Don't worry guys, we do this for a living all day. <laughs> I'm just gonna put three pieces of seed in there. Um, so that will help us know when it, the oil's hot enough to pop it. Yeah, those three, those three kernels are gonna pop as soon as your oil gets up to temperature. Watch your eyes. Little pop fact for you. <laughs> Can pop up to three feet above or to the side or I don't to know the front. If I knew that. Yeah. That's crazy. You can go three feet in either direction. So I have eye protection. keep that away from your face. I'm standing right next to it. This is gonna be great. Oh my gosh, don't do that. Ooh, it's starting to get bubbles. Frightening. I mean the ugly boss. We wouldn't have any other way. It's Pop Show! It's Pop Show! Show! Pop Show! No, it's not Pop Show. That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> No, we're editing all this out. It's fine. I'm definitely putting the nose itching in. <laughs> no, that's gross. People, I'm making food. They don't want to think okay, I'm, I'll totally, I'm a nose itcher. I'll totally edit it out. No, I'm definitely leaving that in there. No, <laughs> it's so gross. Itchy nose is staying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is popping right now. Keep your distance, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Don't want to lose an eye. I can't control me. In fact, okay. I'm just going to make sure this <laughs> pops away from my face. <laughs> okay, there it goes, number two. Okay, okay. That's two out of three. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna, I'm so sorry. There it is. There's three for three. <laughs> I'm going to add in this sugar now, and you're going to want to stir that till it dissolves. Melts in there with the oil, right? With the oil. <laughs> you okay oh my over gosh, there? That's, I don't know why that scared me so bad. Don't try this at home, folks. <laughs> Actually, this is supposed to be a DIY recipe. Steve, why don't you zoom in real quick and take a look at this pan. You can see that it's not quite melted down, but that a lot of the sugar's kind of crystallizing together, and that oil is still there. Sugar burns very easily, so yep. that's... You There's need a to hot keep, spot right in the middle. You need to keep stirring it. Steve, why don't you come in one more time? 
and you get a look at this. So we're getting closer. You can see there's a lot less of those crystals there. Probably only have another 15 seconds or so before we throw this seed in. Go ahead and pan back out, Steve. Good. Okay, so now that your sugar has dissolved, we're gonna put in our popcorn seed. And now- And we're gonna put a lid over it so that we don't lose an eyeball. Okay, and when that starts to pop, I just wanna make sure and keep that lid on there because there is gonna be some pressure from the popcorn popping. And there's probably a more sophisticated way to do this. Certainly if you use a regular lid, uh, you'd be a little bit better off with a handle, but I'm gonna put that towel up there to keep pressure on that lid while it starts popping. And once it starts popping, you might wanna kind of shake the pan a little bit so there's no hot spots. We have an agitator in the popper that we yeah, use, and so you'll wanna kind of shake the pan There is a bit. no smell worse on this planet than burnt popcorn, and no greater sin in a popcorn shop than to have burnt popcorn. No. Oh, you can hear it going, it's starting to pop. You can see the smoke that's kinda coming out through the side. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Gonna shake it one more time. And it sounds like it's almost there. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the heat off now. And this is the reason that I use a mixing bowl, is I was really excited about just flipping this on its end. So right there, you can see we've got homemade kettle corn with a little bit of it burnt, unfortunately, but. Oh, that's pretty good. No, yeah, not bad. Everybody, thanks again for watching. This was episode number 14 of the Pop Shop Show, where we talk popcorn, eat popcorn, and most importantly, show you recipes that you can make at home.